Today, we're going to show you the main actions you can take in Rugby 18. During every phase of play, your strategic choices, your timing, and also the position, individual statistics, and fatigue of each player are taken into account to determine who's got the advantage. With the ball in hand, you can move around freely, either running normally or sprinting. Keep an eye on your endurance gauge though, because when you have no energy, your player will move more slowly and will be easier for your opponents to stop. Try to smash through the opposing line using dodges, dummies, fens and 360 degree dodges. You can also kick the ball with a punt, a bomb, a grubber or a drop goal near the posts. Passing at the right moment is vital to advancing across the field. You can send the ball wherever you want on your line, but the further you throw it, the greater the risk of an interception, deviation or the ball being dropped. Do a switch to trick your opponent or pass backwards to calm the game down a bit. On defence, tackle your opponents to stop their advance, whether by grappling or with a diving tackle. Be careful though, a missed tackle means your player takes time getting back up and they can even get hurt. When the ball is on the ground, you can pick it up at a full run, clear it with your feet or jump on it to secure it. During rucks, add players to the pack and bind them at the right moment to increase your chances of winning it. Call the scrum half as soon as you have the advantage to win the ruck quickly and save your strength. Once that's been won, pass the ball to your teammates, clear it with your feet or take off with the ball in hand. Some hits can cause a contest for the ball where you can try to keep it or call on your teammates to start a maul. On attack, adding players to the maul lets your team push further while on defence, the goal is to tire out the opposing pack as quickly as possible. Good positioning gives an advantage in the scrum. Once it's started, find the right balance and destabilise your opponents to advance and keep possession of the ball. In lineouts with three, five or seven players, choose which player to pass the ball to, trick your opponents and follow up with a maul or a pass. On defence, try to anticipate the thrower's actions to regain the upper hand. After a try or a penalty, place the ball at the desired distance to convert it, then line up your shot depending on your position and the wind speed and direction. Once you've started running, you can lightly adjust your shot by imparting an effect to your kick and send it straight through the posts.